What up guys, this is CD and uh, today I'm gonna be answering the age old fucking question. Like, fucking the chicken or the egg, you know, fucking uh, uh, Mormonism or I don't know, but you know, like fucking do like Serbians and Turks have similar genes, like similar genetics. Okay, fucking, so like this has been a contentious fucking question for like 500 years okay fucking really though like uh are serbians and turks from the anatolian turkish country of turkey genetically similar fucking the answer is yes okay yes and um not okay like i'm just gonna go into it okay so like when people like, people take t people, like, when people, when someone says Turkish, people take it in two different directions. Like, some, like, half the people think, like, instantly their mind just goes to, like, humba, 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 and, like, them fucking, uh, you know, like, them type of Turks, you know, like, the ones up in, like, Mongolia area. And then the other half think of, like, uh, like, scimitars and turban Turks, you know. So, like, uh, okay, so we're gonna... Like, do people usually fucking are are they in having in mind the the Mongolian Turks when uh, they say that Serbs look Turkish? Nah, what they are having in mind is a swarthy Sinbad looking motherfucker, because that's what a a good portion like half or more of Serbs have those features of more dark Mediterranean features, and uh, yeah, like. That's what people are inferring when they're saying that, uh, that that Serbs and Turks are similar genetically. Like they mean the Mediterranean type fucking Turks, you know, like uh, the Saracen type Turks and shit. Which, uh, if you look at the genetics of the you know the haplogroup breakdown of Serbia and Turkey, uh, we have a lot of overlapping uh, genetic influences. Okay, so just take the Slavic out the mix out of Serbian, so the I2 and the R1A, and, um, take that out, so, like, uh, Serbs are, like, almost 40% I2A, and about, like, 15% R1A, so, about a little more than half is Slavic, and then the rest is, uh, uh, the two different types of J's, J1, J2, make just over 20%, and then, uh, E, like E1B, uh, that one makes uh, just over 20% itself. It's the second most common haplogroup in Serb. So uh, with those both together, that's 40%. And then if you add uh, G, L, K, T, and the Q and N together, it's uh, a little over 50%. It's just like the, the non-European haplogroups and the European haplogroups are basically neck and neck in Serbia. And, um, yeah, so when people say Tur like Serbians and Turks are similar, we don't mean the Turkish tribes from, like, Mongolia. We don't mean the similarities with them. We mean the, the people that currently occupy Anatolia and their general look. So, which is more of a Mediterranean look, definitely. Because, uh, that's what mo modern Anatolian Turks are. They're largely, um, Greeks, Armenians, and Arabs, and Kurds, you know? Very, uh, swarthy folks, you know? Otherwise, like, to say, uh, to say it another way. But fucking, um, yeah, so like, that's what, uh, we mean when we say that Serbs and Turks are similar genetically. We mean the Sinbad the Sailor type, and, uh, that is true, like, fucking, um, there's definitely a lot of overlap between Serbs and Turks in the Mediterranean look, because, uh, Serbs, um, are just a combination of, uh, okay, so first it was, like, the Tribali tribe, which is, like, a Thracian tribe, Tribalis were in Serbia, and the Serbs came, and we mixed with them and created the state of Roshka in 600, and, um, and ever since then, oh, yeah, and then, and then the Ottomans happen. So there's like three things going on in us. There's like the, Sla the there's like the original Tribali tribe, Thracian, and then there's a Slav, and then there's the fucking um, Ottoman. 
and uh, in all, I think the Ottoman years contributed a bit, but I think we got the majority of our uh, swarthiness genes from just inception, from uh, when we first settled in the Balkans. So that's, uh, yeah, the Tribali people basically looked like Semites. So they were like definitely E and J type genetics. And uh, yeah, they just came from straight from Anatolia. Those are the Anatolian farmers. I don't know why they say it like that. Like they call them Anatolian farmers and that just sounds white as fuck when really like, these are like the brown people of, of Southern Europe, the Southeast Europe who uh, mixed with the uh, um, Northern European elements like the Slavs and uh, even before then with like, cause Greeks have R1B and shit. So yeah, just like, that's what Southeastern Europe is. It's just a combination of the Indo-European mixing into the indigenous uh, Semitic type people. But uh, anyways, like that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's the truth. Like Serbs and Turks are genetically similar, just not genetically similar to the Turks in Mongolia, the Turks in Anatolia. All right, people, that's it.